So, hello and welcome. Another quick video, a quick test, um, because I finally got uh, Sim Update 10 installed. I was not uh, using it during the beta phase, but uh, yeah, it's 127.21. This was actually the first time that uh, updating the simulator was really relatively quick. It only took about, uh, I would say, two and a half, three hours to get uh, the download done and the installation, uh, which is actually quite good. It wasn't as big as uh, everybody was telling me because I was really afraid that uh, I would have to download 35 gigabytes and wait a, a ton of time for that. But no, it wasn't the case. Uh, I think the download was something like 12 gigabytes. And I would think it probably expanded then to about, uh, I don't know, 15, 18 gigabytes on the disk. That went quite well. I also have changed my graphic card. So I'm now on an RTX 3070 Ti. CPU has stayed the same, RAM has stayed the same, um, but the graphic card has improved and I'm actually using VSync at the moment. That's why I'm limited at 60 frames per second. If I would take the VSync away, I would end up with about 75, sometimes 80, depending a little bit on the, on the environment. Now, currently, as you can see and hear, this is the worst conditions uh, that you can have. And I would think that this is also the one most demanding to the CPU. Um, namely rain and lots of clouds so let's uh, have to actually do a little bit of preview window here so that it's easier for me to see what you see okay so yeah i'm running obs uh, that doesn't seem to have any real visible effect and um, so when i turn around yep i mean when you move you can see uh, degradation but that's normal it's not something you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't expect and the poor sod out there he's getting really wet but he's standing there patiently waiting for me uh, to finally ask something of him <laughs> we are actually in New York LaGuardia Airport and uh, I've got uh, also the World Update X America. I completely forgot uh, because the World Update you have to call it up via the marketplace. I didn't. I didn't somehow miss that one. So I realized that I'm still not owner of the um, US the Sim Update 10 uh, World Update 10 US. So I installed that one as well, which should have brought quite a few landmarks and other things. And probably also airports and cities and, and so on. And uh, yeah, so I've got everything installed now that is to be installed, basic installed with uh, the simulator. I'm now on the latest uh, version. And I have to say together with the new graphic card, this is quite a different experience. Like the frames, it's all very smooth. It's it's not as jerky anymore um, and it's generally a good experience and I can also hear or better not hear so much of my fans, these old fans that are quite loud. Although I'm running a relatively high frame rate compared to my 1080 Ti that I had before, um, I don't really hear much noise coming from the PC with regards to temperature of CPU and graphic card. So I have to say, at least in this scenario, this is actually quite good. I'm somewhat impressed here. Now let's go and call up a bit better weather. Let's go to clear skies and see, uh, because now obviously we will be able to see a bit more. The rain effect is not bad here in MSFS. I have to say, though, I like the effect that you have in 
that you have in X-Plane 12. I like it a little bit better. I, I find it a bit more subtle. Um, but still, I mean, it's still quite immersive. No, no doubt about that. Um, so let's... Uh, no, uh, hang on. Okay. All right. I need... I, nope, wrong move. Um, now, we've, now we're talking. So, now let's go up. And there is uh, downtown New York, right? Whoops. I still have to get used to my... Oh, here we go. So I programmed the, the, the what's it called, showcase. Um, now, it, it, I thought that they wanted to do a big overwork of the, of the viewing system, but I have to say, it doesn't look any different to me. Maybe there have been some more um, items and gimmicks put in and make it even more com complicated. I have no idea. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is bring up the drone speed because we want to move now and look around New York and see what it does to the frames. But I have to say, I mean, okay, yeah, I have a, a graphic card that's now at least double, if not even more, as powerful as the one I had before. So it is to be expected that I get a better uh, and improved um, performance. <sighs> Don't ask me why um, the speed isn't immediately picking up. See this here? Okay, now it goes. <laughs> There's still a lot of <laughs> strange things here with this whole viewing system. So this is LaGuardia Airport. It's a smaller airport here, um, which is actually looking quite good. So that looks like one of those self uh, Azobo made uh, sceneries, very nice. And, uh, yeah, but here we have some really odd-looking things. I'm not sure if this is... Ah, okay. Yep. So you just have to wait. Uh, it gets downloaded and put in the cache. So let's go up here. <laughs> the frames don't budge. 60 frames. All green. All green was something I didn't see with my old graphic card. It was always red. I mean, it may reach 50 or so, uh, 55, but it, it hardly ever stayed up there. And it was definitely always um, in the red, <laughs> no matter what I did. Um, so here we have now a scenery which is quite intense, New York. At the moment, my CPU memory is about 4 gigabytes uh, from 16 used. Peak CPU memory is 4.6. The GPU memory at the moment is three gigabytes. And this is what I say, I have eight now, although I can only use 7.1 of those eight gigabytes. Uh, but that's exactly what I'm saying. Um, in most cases, eight gigabytes is more than enough. Um, yes, obviously there will be some, there will be some more memory used uh, because when we are flying over areas like this and while it's loading those uh, missing objects, um, it's to be expected that we are going to see. So let's go down to Manhattan. And you can see now, uh, like in x 12, there is this, uh, this distance uh, on which uh, objects are drawn um, and it is weighted. That means that certain objects have a different distance uh, uh, weighting weight or something like that that means that um, for example the a lot of the skyscrapers it will draw a bit further because so that you can see the the skyline of New York uh, also from slightly more afar uh, and then whereas other buildings you can really see how they get uh, rendered in and added while we are approaching and while we are getting closer yeah like and now here on the uh, here on the right Yo, uh, so let's go down and see. I am quite amazed. I, I, <laughs> yeah, with a 1080 <laughs> p in uh, New York with all the buildings and very high settings, I was not able to to go there. 
I would have uh, immediately got a huge drop in, in frames. Let's go down a bit further and slowly move uh, Yeah, this is Manhattan, right? Yeah, it's Manhattan Island. Yeah, some some weird things here with bridges that I've seen. So some of these look really odd. And then we do have the odd mistake here. But it, it looks like it's just a caching issue. So if we wait long enough, um, it will load and then those things will disappear. Is this the United Nations? Or something like that, I don't know. I'm not very familiar with New York itself. Yeah, and <laughs> and here you can see another effect um, that hopefully will be removed if we wait patiently. Uh, you can see the buildings from afar and they look reasonably okay, but when you get close, then it really looks odd. But as you can see, you just have to wait long enough. Um, and now we've increased our memory, actually. Our CPU memory is now at 4.14. So we have, uh, by, by moving around here in New York, it has increased. Let's see. Yep. So I don't think it's still loading those. Let's get a bit closer to the one World Trade, or what's it called, World Trade Center. Yeah, I guess that's uh, that's it. If we get very close, does it get a bit better? Because that is not exactly... Wow. <laughs> it looks a bit odd. Is that supposed to be reflections? Probably, huh? Or what? Yeah, okay, that could be it. Well, it looks a bit strange, uh, but I, I would say that uh, like from, from afar and if you are flying along the Hudson River or something like that, I would say it's good enough. There's a lot of uh, recognition here of what, what it is. Um, at least here's a bridge that doesn't look like uh, some block building. Um, yeah. Okay, so... It's looking quite good. Now let's have a look at my settings. Um, so I go to the general options, graphics. Now I'm not on DLSS, because, or what's it called? Uh, so I'm not uh, using the, um, the DLSS, NVIDIA anti-aliasing, but um, just to sort of see what it actually does, I'm going to switch over now because I do have an RTX card. I wouldn't have this option before. And then we're looking at that same thing again and see what the difference may be. I mean, I can still see some shimmering effects and the anti-aliasing in general doesn't work very well uh, with the Sims for me. I'm still not sure if this is the NVIDIA graphic driver. Again, we have some really weird looking buildings. They seem to have kicked them out of the memory again. <laughs> so we need to wait. And there's some weird traffic, like some car. <laughs> on the <laughs> River Hudson, it's probably a, an amphibious car. And we have a shadow there. Well, let's get really close and see. Come on. You would expect to hear like uh, horns out, uh, car cars uh, moving and all kinds of noises, but you hear birds. It's like an apocalypse uh, thing here. Yeah, that's it. I mean, for, for, for default scenery and, uh, and so on, it's actually not bad. 
Um, compared to what you get in, in X-Plane, for example, um, that is actually, it is actually better and it gives a high recognition factor here of, of the buildings. I mean, they might not look great from, from near, but they look okay actually from further away, like here. So it's not bad, not bad. Let's have a look at uh, the whole thing in darkness. Yeah, and that I have to say, that is quite impressive. No doubt about that. You can even see where the war, and look, look how it slowly but surely gets, settles in. Wow. And we're still at 60 frames per second. I mean, definitely the, the RTX 3070 Ti has made a huge difference. There's no doubt about that. Wow. I can hear now the fans uh, spooling up because uh, we are covering now a, a greater area. And that definitely increases the resource uh, hunger but i'm still I, I have still a smooth experience here so let's uh, move over this should be yeah the light effects from closer um, do look a bit strange but then again i mean this is a city with a very kind of a chess uh, board, uh, checkerboard uh, <laughs> layout. So I suppose doesn't look wrong to me. It can look a bit odd when you when you come in like this here. Yeah. So uh, which airport is this? This is probably the big one, JFK. Could it? Yeah, I think it's JFK, isn't it? So let's have a look at the airport itself. Now all of this is standard scenery. I haven't added anything. And uh, yeah, well, that looks uh, also quite nice. I have to say, default scenery is quite, quite okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's one of those uh, special Azobo made uh, airports could be. Because it, doesn't look all like standard scenery partially looks uh, like it's really specially made could be I may be wrong though I don't know but uh, well done anyway not all airports in MSF is look like this but uh, the ones that they have taken special care of uh, that uh, they are usually quite good and they don't need usually you don't need payware for those ones I mean sure payware is probably a little bit more accurate but um, very nice. So, still in and around 60 frames. Uh, really nice. Uh, everything green. I'm really, really happy now. I have to say this, this, this combination. And I'm pretty sure also that Sim Update 10 did some, did improve some of the performance. I will leave it on DLSS now. As I said, I couldn't use it before because I didn't have a, a matching graphic card, but now I do, and. Uh, well, I'll leave it like this and then see what that what that actually means for um, for me. Uh -huh. So this is the Cessna again. We're back in the Cessna. Let's take out the zoom. We're still in LaGuardia, I think. Um, that looks a bit odd, though. Oh, 
Yeah, very dark. And these eerie guys are standing there. So here you can see an airport that is not fully worked out, it seems, because I can't see any lights and uh, looks very dark. Um, ah, well. Anyway, I'm quite happy with this. Um, so let me show you my settings then. So that you know also what the other settings are. So I'm now on NVIDIA DLSS. I wasn't there. I do my native uh, screen resolution is 1080p, which will stay like this. I have VSync on, 100% monitor refresh rate. Um, DirectX version 11. I'm not good doing the 12 uh, beta. Global rendering quality is custom. And as you can see, I have a lot of the stuff. The pre-crashing is medium, but most of the details uh, and vector data and all that is pretty high. It's on ultra or, or high. Um, I do turn off some things that I don't like, like more motion blur is on low, lens corrections and lens flare. I don't really like that kind of stuff. And I put the glass cockpit ref refresh rate down. I'm not sure if it's still a problem, but it uh, used to give me one or two frames or more. Uh, ray March reflections. So I, I tone those things down because they can be quite expensive. And the ambient occlusion is off. Um, maybe now with a new card, I should uh, try some of these and see what, what they actually make. Um, yeah, contact shadows, high resolution water waves high so this is quite a quite a high setting here and you can see i'm really happy with the frame rates i'm getting at the moment it's as i say it's a combination of probably the simulator update and also the new uh, more powerful graphic card that i have i have to say with this uh, it looks like msf is, is going to be fun far more fun than it used to be very good so that's it I hope that was uh, a little bit helpful. Uh -huh. We seem to have some buildings back, but it's still pitch dark here. So definitely an airport that might need a freeware touch <laughs> by someone. Thanks very much for watching and until next time.